क्लास एलेवेंथ का जोलॉजी बाई टॉपिक है लिपिड्स तो वन टाइप ऑफ द बायो मॉलिक्यूल इज लिपिड्स सो दिस टर्म लिपिड हैव बीन डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम अ ग्रीक वर्ड दैट ग्रीक वर्ड इज लाइपोस लाइपोस means fat so then what are these lipids these lipids have and their derivatives are together known as lipids so the definition of lipids is that is fats and their derivatives are together known as lipids these are uh, lipids are insoluble in water lipids are insoluble in water because why they contain long non polar hydrocarbon chain so they have this non polar hydrocarbon chain that is why they are insoluble in water what do you mean by this non polar we will uh, i will explain this later on and besides that they are soluble in organic solvents like ether chloroform benzene so these uh, lipids they are insoluble in water but soluble in organic solvents these uh, lipids these lipids which are insoluble in water but soluble in organic solvents they are represented they mainly include these lipids mainly include ghee butter so these are the lipids cholesterol waxes these are all lipids there are some pigments such as lycopene of tomato and carotene of carrot so these are this lycopene and this carotene these are also lipids there are also some vitamins which are made up of lipids that is vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k they are also known as fat soluble vitamins so these lipids are <coughs> represented by ghee butter cholesterol waxes certain pigments as well as some vitamins now these uh, lipids their basic structural unit those are fatty acids so lipids are mainly composed of fatty acids what are these fatty acids they are organic compounds these fatty acids are organic compounds having hydrocarbon chain having hydrocarbon chain that ends by carboxylic group so fatty acid is made up of hydrocarbon chain and at the end there is carboxylic group for example i will cite here the example of one of the simplest fatty acid that is butyric acid 
simplest type of fatty acid. This butyric acid is present in the butter. That is why it is also known as butter fat. Butyrate. This butyric acid it consists of four carbon atoms, C4 compound. Its molecular formula is C3H7COH. So that means this is the molecular formula of butyric acid having four carbon atoms, three carbon atoms attached with hydrogen and another carbon atom that is a carboxylic group. So now <laughs> this C3H7COH is the molecular formula of butyric acid. If I will write here, these are the three carbon atoms. This is the carboxylic group. This is the, I can say, hydrocarbon chain attached with uh, these hydrogen atoms bonded with carbon atom. So this is the, I can say, fatty acid, butyric acid. So now this butyric acid, it consists of two parts. One is this hydrocarbon chain, carbon hydrogen chain. And second is this carboxylic group. So it consists of two parts. Carboxylic group at the end and hydrocarbon chain. This carboxylic group, it is polar. Why? Because there is a polar, polar bond between the carbon and oxygen. Polar bond is that bond which is present between different electronegative that bond is known as polar bond, polar polar bond. So here the bond is between carbon and oxygen, they have different electronegativity. Electronegativity is the capacity of gaining electrons. Here the oxygen is having electronegativity 3.5, carbon is having 2.5. So this bond in carboxylic group is heteroatomic between different atoms, carbon and oxygen, having different electronegativity. This bond is polar bond, that is why this carboxylic group is polar or hydrophilic. Hydrophilic means water loving, that means it dissolves in water. Why it dissolves in water? Because the water, <coughs> why it dissolves in water? Because water is itself polar. If we take H2O, this is the oxygen, bond is between two hydrogen atoms. So the bond is here again heteroatomic. That means between two different atoms. One is oxygen having electronegativity 3.5. On the other hand, hydrogen having electronegativity 2.1. So that means the water molecule is also polar and you all know that polar dissolves in polar. So that is, that is why this uh, carboxylic group of this fatty acid, it is polar. It is water loving. That means it, it dissolves in water. If you see here this hydrocarbon chain main bond that is between carbon and carbon. And each carbon, you know, that is having electronegative 2.5. This carbon is also having 2.5. This carbon is also having 2.5. So that means when there is bond between the same electronegative atoms, that is called a non-polar bond. So what is non-polar bond? Which is present between similar, same electronegative, same electronegative atoms. That bond is called as non-polar. So we can also say homoatomic. That is why this uh, hydrocarbon chain it is non-polar. Non-polar means hydrophobic. What is hydrophobic? Water hating. It expels. It comes from the water. So that is why earlier I have mentioned that these fatty acids, these fats are insoluble in water because major part of the fatty acid is made up of hydrocarbon chain. Only the carboxylic group forms a small part. So that is why they are also they are insoluble in water because they are having the non-polar hydrocarbon chain and that is very long. 
and besides that they are soluble in organic solvents because organic solvents are also non polar so non polar dissolves in non polar now we can say if we go through the physical structure here i can say that this fatty acid it consists of two parts one is this polar part that is called a head and this non uh, non polar part that is called a stain so so far as the physical structure is concerned of this fatty acid molecule it consists of this head and head is polar hydrophilic it is made up of carboxylic group then there is the tail the tail is hydrocarbon chain this hydrocarbon chain and this tail is non polar so that is why we can say these fatty acids have tetrapolar like structure zigzag this tail because that is non polar i can say tail that does not dissolve in water because water is polar <coughs> the substances the substances which possess both polar part and non polar part polar component and non polar component they are known as amphiphatic so fatty acids are amphiphatic substances amphiphatic molecules because they have both polar part and non polar parts so this is the structure of physical structure of any of the fatty acid so these fatty acids they have 4 to 24 carbon atoms so far as the naturally occurring fatty acids are concerned they contain 4 to 24 carbon atoms in the hydrocarbon chain now for instance i will give you some illustration here if you take water if you take water in a bowl in a jar so this is the bowl here you take here water in this bowl now you add oil once you add oil oil is made up of fatty acids so you will see that the oil forms a monomolecular layer on the surface of water like this why because water is polar and the fatty acid is having polar head polar dissolves in polar so that means the head dissolves in water because the head is polar the tails they are non polar they remain away from the water once they will remain away from the water <coughs> this oil forms a monomolecular layer on the surface of water you can illustrate this activity at your home <coughs> besides that these fatty acids these fatty acid molecules they can also form the micelles like this micelles means their non polar tails are directed inwards and their polar heads are directed outwards as you see in the diagram like this so these non polar tails are directed inwards <coughs> polar heads are directed outwards towards the water this is the water here so you know that the soaps if we take example of soaps soaps contain fats that means fatty acids and soaps are used to remove the dirt on the clothes or on the body if this is the dirt substance say for an example this is dirt and dirt is mainly oil this is oil so here i will draw the diagram here this is the dirt that means the oil and this oil is non polar what will happen the tails the tails which are non polar they dissolve in the oil so that means there is non polar non polar interaction like this so these non polar tails dissolve in the oil because both are non polar now remains the are the polar heads what is polar head that is made up of carboxylic group these polar heads have same charge 
Bunu deyelim ki, sen çarış deyelim ki, kırış çarış ribalışan. Bunu deyelim ki, kırış çarış ribalışan. This çarış ribalışan causes breakdown of oil or breakdown of dirt. Once there is breakdown of this oil or this dirt, what will happen? Now applying mechanical power. While washing the clothes, we apply the force. This oil is removed or this dirt is removed. So <coughs> these form the micelles. This was the concept about micelles are they are also known as globules. These are lipids. They are normally composed of fatty acids and fatty acids are amphifatic substances having both polar and non-polar parts. Now these lipids, now these lipids are mainly of two types. These fat, sorry, not lipids, sorry here, fatty acids. So because the fatty acids form the backbone of lipids, these fatty acids these fatty acids are mainly of two types depending upon the presence or absence of double bonds first type those are saturated fatty acids these saturated fatty acids or those fatty acids, in these uh, fatty acids, the carbon atoms, the carbon atoms in the hydrocarbon chain, the carbon atoms in the hydrocarbon chain <coughs> are held by single bonds, single covalent bonds. That means the hydro your hydrocarbon chain contain only single bonds. There is no double bond between the carbon atoms in the hydrocarbon chain. So these saturated fatty acids, their general formula is so that you can apply the general formula that is Cn H2n plus 1 COH. This is the general formula of saturated fatty acids. So those fatty acids in which there is single covalent bond between the carbon atoms of the hydrocarbon chain. Now, <laughs> I will take example of the fatty acid, saturated fatty acid that is found in the nature that is palmitic acid. This palmitic acid is a saturated fatty acid. It is C16 compound. It is having 16 carbon atoms. And it is found in, I can say, you can, it can, it is found in, I can say, animals this palmitic acid and this palmitic acid is a fatty acid having 16 carbon atoms now if you can apply the formula you have to write down n is equal to not 16 but 15 what why not 16 i am saying that this is a 16 carbon compound but here i am writing n is equal to 15 why not 16 because there is one carbon that is associated with the carboxylic group that's also counted so that is why n 15 that means c 15 then H2N, 15 into, that means I can say these are uh, H2, H2 into N, 15. Then there is COH. What do you mean by that? C15, H2, 15s are, yes, 30 plus 1 here, that means 31 COH. This is the now molecular formula of palmitic acid. C15. H31 COH N is equal to 15 C15 H2N 2 into 15 30 plus 1 31 plus COH If you write down the elaborated form then you have to write down the carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, 4, 5 so on so on it's a lengthy process but <coughs> first carbon is that is having the I can say 3 hydrogen atoms then the other carbons are having 2 hydrogen atoms so on so on so I will give you the simplest way to, I can say, make this formula in expanded form. You can write down the first carbon is CH3. This is CH3, methyl group. The remaining carbons are CH2, methylene group. CH2, CH2, CH2. How many carbons are there? 15. This is one and this is the, I can say, 14. 
that is one methyl group one then these are methylene groups 14 that is total carbon 14 then you can write down the CUH this is the expanded form expanded form of this formatic acid then you can also write down the cytiric acid cytiric acid is another uh, saturated fatty acid that is also found in the nature this is carbon 18 it is having 18 carbon atoms so you can see that n is equal to 17 not 18 because one carbon is present in the carboxylic group so you can apply the formula cn c17 h2 in trend that means 17 into 2 34 plus 1 35 coh this is the cytic acid you can also write down it in expanded form the first carbon is methyl group the remaining carbons are ch2 methylene group how many these are 17 this is one and these are 16 that means 17 carbon atoms then coh expanded form of cytic acid so these saturated fatty acids are those fatty acids which have only single covalent bonds between the carbon atoms in the hydrocarbon chain and <coughs> these their general formula is CN H2N plus 1 COH. They may be polymeric acid, cytiric acid, and these saturated fatty acids are usually solid at room temperature. And these I can say have also high melting point. One thing you should remember here. When the number of carbon atoms, when the number of carbon atoms in the hydrocarbon chain is more, as the length of the hydrocarbon chain is more, more will be its melting point. So elongated is the hydrocarbon chain, more will be its melting point. So they have high melting point. Then there is the <coughs> second type of these uh, fatty acids. Those are known as unsaturated fatty acids these fatty acids in these fatty acids they possess one or more double bonds they possess one or more double bonds between the carbon atoms of hydrocarbon chain the hydrocarbon chain, carbon hydrogen chain that contains one or more than one these double bonds between the carbon atoms of the hydrocarbon chain. These unsaturated fatty acids, they are mainly liquid at room temperature because these have these uh, double bonds, one or more double bonds and these unsaturated fatty acids are mainly of two types depending upon their unsaturation. One of them, those are known as monounsaturated fatty acids. Monounsaturated fatty acids, they are also abbreviated by MUFAS. M U F A strophias. Monounsaturated fatty acids. These monounsaturated fatty acids, as the name indicates, they contain only one double bond between the carbon atoms of the hydrocarbon chain. So those, fat, those fatty acids, those unsaturated fatty acids, which have one double bond. One double bond between the carbon atoms of hydrocarbon chain. And these monounsaturated, uh, these monounsaturated MUFAS fatty acids, their general formula is CN H2N minus 1 COH. This is their general formula CN H2N minus 1 COH. For example, I will cite an example here of one of these, I can say, monounsaturated fatty acid that is oleic acid. This oleic acid is one of the most abundant fatty mono unsaturated fatty acid, widely distributed type of unsaturated fatty acid in the nature. This oleic acid is having 
18 carbons, including that carbon of carboxylic group. Now you can apply the formula. N is equal to not 18, but 17. So C17 at 2 into 17, 34 minus 1. General formula is minus 1, then hydrogen are 33 COH. This is the molecular formula of olic acid, most uh, widely distributed type of fatty acid in the nature. This olic acid, where is the double bond present? The double bond is present between the carbon number 9 and carbon number 10. In monounsaturated fatty acids, the double bond is present between carbon number 9 and carbon number 10. Now we can write down here in an elaborated form, first carbon is always methyl, CH3. The remaining carbons are CH2, methylene 4. So this is the CH, carbon number 9, this is the carbon number 10, there is the double bond. So now this is carbon number 1, methyl group. How many carbons? Then these are the 7, 7 plus 1, 8, then this is the ninth one. So this is carbon number one, first carbon that is methyl group. Then there are methylene, CH2, how many? Seven. Then seven plus one, eight. Then this is the ninth. Ninth and tenth have double bond. Then again there are CH2. How many CH2? There are 17 carbon atoms. So these are 10, then seven. These are 17. Then last CH. So this is the expanded form of oleic acid which is having CH3, then CH2 7 times, that means it's 8, this is the 9th and 10th where there is double bond, then there is again CH2 7 times, 7 times means 10 plus 7, 17, there are 17 corporate atoms, and then the last there is COH. So this was about the <coughs> monounsaturated uh, fatty acids. Now we will take the Second type, monounsaturated or one type, because these unsaturated fatty acids are of two types. Then here are the second, polyunsaturated fatty acids, which are also known as PUFAs. P-U-F-A epistrophes, polyunsaturated fatty acids. These polyunsaturated fatty acids have two or more double bonds. Two or more double bonds between the carbon atoms of the hydrocarbon chain. For example, I will take the first type with two double bonds. With two double bonds. If there are two double bonds. Dear general formula is having two double bonds Cn H2n minus 3 COH. This is the general formula of those polyunsaturated fatty acids which have two double bonds Cn H2n minus 3 COH. You can apply it. I will cite here an example linoleic acid. Linoleic acid is a polyunsaturated fatty acid present in nature having two double bonds and it is having carbon atoms 18. So you can apply the formula N is equal to not 18 but 17. Why? Because one carbon is that of the carboxylic group. Then you can apply the formula C17 and is equal to 17. H2 into 17, 34 minus 3, 31 COH. So this is the, this C17 H31 COH this is the molecular formula of linoleic acid. Now, this linoleic acid having C17, H31, COH, and this I can say for a molecular formula of this linoleic acid, and why are the double bonds present now? The double bond is, there are two double bonds. One double bond is present between the carbon number 6 and carbon number 7. Another is, another is, then there is carbon number 8, not on the 8. Then there is carbon number 9 and carbon number 10. You just see here. So one number one is between carbon number 6 and 7. Other is between carbon number 9 and carbon number 10. So one thing you should remember here. In these unsaturated fatty acids, 
in these unsaturated fats they are never conjugated they are never conjugated like this they are never conjugated like this why because as you see what is conjugate they are never conjugated they are never conjugated conjugated means having on having alternate single and double bonds so as you see here there is double bond followed by single bond followed by double bond. this does not occur this never happens they are never conjugated but the fatty acid is having two or more double bonds they are never conjugated but are separated by you should remember it but are separated by methylene group this is very important this is very important so those polyunsaturated fatty acids having two or more double bonds are never conjugated why they are never conjugated because what what is conjugation alternate single and double bonds but they are separated by methylene group so this is i can say methylene group ch2 group this is the methylene group so this is the first one 6 and 7 then they are separated by methylene group then 9 and 10 so you can write down the first is ch3 methyl group then methylene group is how many that means 4 this is 1 5 Then there is the double bond CH and CH6 and 7 post double bond. Then there is again separated by CH2. Then there is double bond. This is the eighth. Now double bond is between nine and ten carbon atoms. So two double bonds. One is between six and seven separated by methylene group. Then nine and ten. Then there is again CH2. How many? There are seventeen. These are ten. That means seven. Then CH. So this is the I can say expanded form of this I can say linoleic acid. So now it is having two double bonds. The first double bond is between carbon number six and seven. Second is between nine and ten. The first bond, the first double bond is present between carbon number six and carbon number seven. That means this is known as omega six fatty acid. Why omega six fatty acid? Because it is the first bond is present between carbon number six and carbon number seven. So linoleic acid is a omega six fatty acid. Now there is another that is polyunsaturated fatty acids are of three types. I can say with two or more double bonds with two double bonds. Now with three double bonds with three double bonds. So it's uh, this general formula is Cn H two N minus five COH. This is the general formula of polyunsaturated fatty acids having three double bonds. Now, example is linoleic acid. This linoleic acid is also found in nature, and it also contains carbon eighteen. So that means N is equal to seventeen because one carbon is associated with that is a carboxylic group. You can write down. C seventeen H two N two into seventeen thirty four minus five thirty four minus five that means twenty nine COH. This is the linoleic acid. C seventeen H twenty nine COH, and it is having how many double bonds? Three. The first double bond is present between the carbon number three and four. So I can write out the expanded form CH three then CH two. Then again, CH3 double bond. This CH double bond CH. So this one, this is a I can say second. This is third, and this is fourth. So the first double bond is present between carbon number three and four. Then again, they are separated by CH2 because I have already told you double bonds are separated by methylene group. This is the five. Then there is CH double bond CH six and seven. Again, double bonds are separated by CH2 methylene group. This is the eighth one. Then double bond is present between nine and ten. So these have three double bonds: three and four, six and seven, nine and ten. Because they are separated by nuclear group. These double bonds. Then there are again CH two. How many? This is seventeen carbon here. So these are the nine and ten. So seven. This is you. So as you see here, the double bonds are present in three and four, six and seven, nine and ten, separated by methylene groups. Now the first double bond is present between carbon number three and carbon number four. That is why they are known as omega three fatty acids. 
omega 3 fatty acids. So linolenic acid is omega 3. So what are omega 3? Well, the first double bond is between carbon number 3 and carbon number 4. Then there is the last type of this polyunsaturated fatty acids with four double bonds. If there are four double bonds, the general formula is Cn H2N minus 7 COH. This is the general formula of those fat, unsaturated fatty acids having four double bonds. Example is archidonic acid. This archidonic acid is abundantly also found in nature in uh, mainly I can say in dry fruits and it is having carbon number 20 C20. So definitely we can say that N is equal to 19. Why 19? Because one carbon, one carbon is present in carboxyl. So you can apply the formula C19 H19 into 2 that means 38 but minus 7 that is 31 COH. This is the molecular formula of orchidonic acid C19H 31 COH. How many double bonds are there? There are four double bonds. The first double bond is present between carbon number 6 and carbon number 7. So we can write down here the expanded form CH3 CH2. This is one carbon and this is I can say uh, four carbons. Now there is the sixth carbon. First double bond is between 6 and 7. Separated by methylene group. That is the 8 carbon. Then again there is double bond. That is 9 and 10. Then again separated by methylene group. Because double bonds are separated by methylene groups. This is 11. Then there is again CH double bond CH. That is between the 12 and 13. How many double bonds? 1, 2, 3. Now again they are separated by methylene group CH2. Now there is our one between this is 14, 15th and 16th. So these are four double bonds. One, two, three, four. But double bonds are separated by methylene groups. Like this. Then finally there is CH2. These are 19 carbons, these are 16, that is three times finally COH. This is the expanded structure of orchidonic acid, having four double bonds. First double bond between carbon number 6 and 7, second 9 and 10, third that is 12 and 13, then there is 15 and 16. This orchidonic acid is omega 6. Why omega 6 fatty acid? Why omega 6 fatty acid? Because the first double bond is present between carbon number 6 and carbon number 7. One thing important I want to mention here that is all these I can say in all naturally occurring polyunsaturated fatty acids they are always present in cis configuration for example this is the I can say here this is here the two carbon atoms having the double bond the hydrogen atoms homo atoms similar atoms are present on the same side when the homo atoms, similar atoms are attached with the two with the carbon atoms which take part in the double bond formation. These two hydrogen atoms are present on the same side that is known as cis configuration. This is known as cis configuration. On the other hand, this is the I can say double bond between two carbon atoms where hydrogen atoms are present on the opposite sides. To one carbon it is on the I can say upper side on the other carbon it is not present on the lower side this is known as trans configuration this is known as trans configuration so this is cis configuration this is trans configuration this cis configuration these are mainly I can say these uh, you know the fatty these polyunsaturated fatty acids they are which are having cis configuration they are soft fats why because the hydrogen atom attached with the carbon atoms involving in the hydrogen in these the formation of double bonds, they are present on one side. They do not fit in the crystal lattice. This crystal lattice is the structure of crystal lattice is the structure of solids. But on the other hand, the trans these trans configuration, trans they are hard. 
Why these uh, pads they have trans uh, configuration? They are known as trans pads. Why they are hard? Because the hydrogen atoms are present on the opposite sides and they form an angle of 180 degree. They form an angle of 180 degree. That is why they are, I can say, they fit completely in the crystal axis. Once they completely fit in the crystal axis, they are hard. So that is why these trans pads. So these are the cis pads. These are the trans pads. So trans pads have trans configuration. These trans pads, they are banned in USA. The use of these trans pads is banned in the restaurants in USA. And also we can see, once, uh, once you go to buy uh, the market to buy the lays or any other, I can say these, uh, uh, these uh, food, substance, food substances, uh, there is mentioned there, no trans pads. No trans, because these trans pads are hot. Why they are hot? Because the hydrogen atoms are present on the either sides of the two carbon atoms and they form an angle of 180 degree. They get fit in the crystal as if they are hot. If such pads are taken, hot pads, they can cause hot elements. They can be deposited in the blood vessels. They can increase the blood pressure. And this may lead to, I can say, fat defects on the body. So that is why uh, these trans fats are banned in USA. But in other countries, it may or may not be, but uh, we see the, on the wrappers, there is written down that these uh, without trans, no trans fats. So you should remember what are trans fats and what are soft fats. Okay.